The United States has worked in lockstep with our allies and partners around the world to make sure you, the Ukrainian people are in the strongest possible position to defend their nation, their families, and against the brutal, the truly brutal aggression of Russia. We haven't seen the likes of this in a long time. The United States and Europe are fully united. Republicans in Congress have stood together. The United States has worked in lockstep with our armored capability, as uh, General Austin will tell you, speak, uh, uh, is, has, been, has been critical. And that's why the United States has committed hundreds of armored fighting vehicles to date, including more than 500 as part of the assistance package we announced last Friday. And today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine to make sure you, the Ukrainian people are in the strongest possible position to defend their nation. So we're also giving Ukraine the parts and equipment necessary to effectively sustain these tanks on the battlefield. And we begin, we'll begin to train the Ukrainian troops on these issues of sustainment, logistics, and maintenance as soon as possible. Patient with uh, our NATO allies. German Chancellor, Germany has really stepped up. The Chancellor has been a strong, strong voice for unity, a close friend, and for the level of effort we're going to continue. Prime Minister Sanuk and the Italian Prime Minister Mo. Uh, That's what this is about, helping Ukraine defend and protect Ukrainian land. It is not an offensive threat to Russia. Chancellor has been a strong, strong voice for unity, a close friend, and for so the United States, standing shoulder to shoulder with allies and partners, is going to continue to do all we can to support Ukraine. Putin expected Europe and the United States to weaken our resolve. He expected our support for Ukraine to crumble with time. He was wrong. He was wrong. And he was wrong from the beginning, and he continues to be wrong. We are united. America's united, and so is the world. I wanted to make sure we were all together. That's what we're going to do all along, and that's what we're doing right now. Thank President, you. any response to the Pence disclosures of classified documents? Sir, are the searches of your homes completed? Mr. President, when is Jeff Zine starting as your next chief of staff? Will you search for COVID?